Hi, this is Dr. Ballard. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to show you how to do this test. It's called the oxidative test. It tests for oxidative damage in your body. Um, you might think of oxidation as the release of free radicals. Free radicals are the breakdown of oxygen in our body. It's analogous to when iron rust or when butter goes rancid. Uh, that's oxidative damage. Well, the same thing in our body can trigger inflammation uh, and that in turn triggers chronic disease. So this is the test that will kind of measure that in your body and show you where you're running. I think this is an extremely valuable test and it's uh, not done often enough, unfortunately. Uh, the way it's uh, prepared for is you want to wait for 24 hours after not taking any antioxidants. So remember, antioxidants block the reaction of oxidative damage, so you don't want to be taking an extraordinary amount of those for 24 hours before you do this test. So I recommend that people not take their multivitamin, not take any vitamin C, E, A, or D, or zinc, or selenium for 24 hours. Uh, also, eat only your normal amount of antioxidant-rich foods. Antioxidant-rich foods are things like blueberries, uh, deep-colored fruits and vegetables. Also, red wine is high in antioxidants. So if you normally eat those things or drink that, uh, go ahead and do that. But just don't do more than you would normally do. Then the next morning when you get up, you want to do a first morning urine. This is before you've had anything to eat or drink. Go directly to the bathroom get a small urine sample. Then you open up this little package here, and inside here there's a little glass vial. Um, in the bottom of the glass vial is a small amount of liquid reagent that will react with your urine. To get at that, you have to break the top off. Now the top is considered anything from this white line where it's indented here up. And to break that off is quite easy. You just leave on the sleeve. They've already scored it, so to break off, you just put your thumbs there and snap it off. Uh, don't twist it. Snap it off. And then there'll be a hole at the top. Once you've done that, then you take this pipette, you squeeze the pipette, put it in the urine, draw the urine just up to this top line here, which is one milliliter, and then you put that urine in through the top, and you wait for five minutes. After five minutes, you hold it up next to this little uh, color coding here, and you want to find the best match, zero to five. Is it still looking pretty much like urine, or is it really dark red, or is it somewhere in between here? That's what you're going to want to report to your doctor. Uh, this on this end is pretty much uh, the lower end of free radicals. That's good. This is the high end. This means you have a lot of free radicals in your body. You kind of think of this as uh, you're going up the roller coaster, right? This is where it starts getting scary as you're going up to the high end of this roller coaster. Um, so there's things that can be done about this. Obviously, you might want to be taking more free radical quenchers, which are antioxidants. Um, but more importantly that, you want to find out why these are being stimulated in your body. And that's uh, what we can talk about in terms of digestion. We can talk about that in terms of stress. We can talk about that in terms of uh, uh, free radical, radical stimulants, in terms of uh, environmental toxins. Uh, as always in natural medicine, that's what you want to do is find out the cause of the problem. This is just an indicator that there's something going on. Thank you.